So today I will be doing a and a a basic Q&A about snakes. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I will start off with the first question. Okay, so question number one, can snakes hear? They do not have any external ear openings, but they do have an inner ear. They detect sound by vibrations in the air. The extremely sensitive plates on the snake's belly is another method the animal uses to detect prey and predators, etc. While this is not the hearing in the sense that we think of, this form of gathering vital information is very successful to the snake. Okay, so question number two, uh, why do snakes shed? Well, humans shed their skin continuously from birth. Uh, snakes shed their skin about several times per year, but that process happens all at once compared to the millions of skin cells that humans shed daily. The reasons for shedding are very similar to the snakes. One, it helps us grow and repair damage from scrapes and abrasions. Uh, the actual name of the process is called ichthysis. Now, ichthysis occurs at various time intervals based on factors. The age of the snake, the growth rate, the environmental factors, including parasites, can determine how many times the snake will shed per year. Okay, so question number three, can snakes smell? Uh, yes, they do, but not like us. They use a different type of olfactory organ than humans do. We use our nose to smell, and they use something completely different to detect odor particles in the air. Now, snakes use a highly specialized organ called the Jacobson's organ, and it's located on the roof of their mouth. So what they do is they will move their tongue in and out uh, rapidly to pick up particles in the air and deposit them in the roof of the mouth where the uh, organ is located. The snake is then able to determine the whereabouts of such things as prey, water, and other stuff. Uh, creatures such as the rattlesnake will bite a victim and will follow the scent trail of the uh, rodent as it flees. The snake's venom eventually kicks in and the prey atom will die. And the snake simply has to follow the trail using the particles given off by the fleeing animal. Okay, so the question number four, uh, how long do snakes live? Well, the age of a snake varies greatly by species. The longest recorded age for a snake held in captivity was 46 years old, and it was a ball python held at the Philadelphia Zoo. As for North American snakes held in captivity, uh, it usually, usually ranges about 18 to 20 years old, but for the larger families of boas and python, it'll average closer to 30 years. As for snakes in the wild in North America, they average about 10 to 11 years due to natural pressures like um, predators, harsh winters, droughts, etc. Okay, so question number five, where do snakes spend the winter? Well, first off, some tropical snakes never have to hibernate. Uh, for climates with harsh winters, all cold-blooded animals must seek refuge from the extreme temperatures. The vast majority of snakes will utilize um, an existing mammal burrow or rotted tree trunks. Some species will find rock outcroppings uh, where to available over winter. Uh, there are several documented species, such as the hognose snake, that will actually burrow into soft soil and spend the winter a few inches below the surface. Uh, during this time, the metabolism of a snake will decrease substantially, as well as the heart rate. The heart rate will become almost barely detectable. The snakes in northern climates, such as Canada, will are often underground for nine months per year. It's got a little cold now, so I put my sweater on. No, 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 no. Okay, so question number six. How do snakes reproduce? Now, uh, the vast majority of snakes lay eggs. There are live bears. Um, for example, in the United States, there are the pit vipers, rattlesnakes, the uh, copperheads, and the conmouth and water macossins. Uh, they all give birth to live babies. As for New World, um, the boas and the anacondas are examples. The female actually retains the eggs inside her body, and once they hatch, the babies are passed through fully formed. Okay, so question number seven is how many different snakes are there? Um, it is accepted to say today that there are over 2,700 different types of species out there at the moment. Um, hybrids are snakes that generally do not occur in the wild. 
There are exceptions to the rule, uh, notably the king snakes interbreeding in the U.S., etc. Several hybrids have been produced by breeders today to uh, naturally select color patterns, etc. While these hybrid snakes do increase the number of different types of snakes, they are not considered new species. Okay, last but not least, question number eight. Uh, which snake is the most poisonous is the question that I get asked a lot. Uh, let's set something straight. Snakes are not poisonous, they are venomous. Poison is something you ingest. Venom, on the other hand, is a highly specialized chemical that snakes use in several ways. But let's get back to the point here. Uh, sea snakes are the most toxic of all snakes, but pose little of any threat to humans. Uh, as far as land snakes are concerned, Australia has several that are highly toxic to humans. The Taipan, Taipan, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, and uh, brown snake are considered to be the most toxic of land-dwelling snakes. Okay, so this is it. This is my basic Q&A about snakes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please check out my channel and uh, subscribe. That would make me really happy. If you want me to make any more videos like this concerning the reptile of your choice, just write in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching my uh, my little lesson here, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye!